You guessed it, it's time for another Hook of the Week here on Black Bear Forge. So what do we have in what's left of our useful bucket of treasures here? Some of the stuff I'm saving for the end to make some specifically interesting stuff. I haven't thought about this great big piece. In fact, I need to test it probably and make sure it isn't uh, some sort of hardenable steel just because of the size that it is. So I think we'll go with this thing today. Looks like half inch round bar. So that's half inch or about 13 millimeter round bar, four inches long, 100 millimeters long. Now this doesn't inspire me to make too interesting of a hook, unfortunately. I can't think of anything real fancy. It's a very basic piece of material. So I think a very basic hook is in order. And there is probably no more basic of a hook than a nail. But this will be a little bit better than just an average nail bought at the hardware store. It'll be a hand wrought nail. I just want to start by drawing the bar out to a point so we can drive it in some wood. Now drawing out over the horn is a good way to stretch material out faster. But you could draw this out over the face of the anvil. You can also work right at the edge of the anvil and use the edge as kind of a fuller. And that does about the same thing. It's about like using the cross peen of your hammer to draw out. Lots of different ways to accomplish any given task in the blacksmith shop. I feel like the horn has more control and takes less to clean back up again. But they all work. Create a shoulder back here. I'm leaving a fair amount on the head end so we can make a nice big head. This nail's perhaps longer than it needs to be, but It'll be dramatic. And check this with a nail header to make sure it fits all the way up to the shoulder there. Now I'm going to go to a lighter hammer so I can get better upsetting right on the end. It's actually Shearing off little points there is not what I wanted to happen. So this nail header, unfortunately, is a little bit too big, and all I'm doing is peeling up my edge there, and that is definitely not the effect I want. I'm going to go grind those off, see if I can find a header that's slightly smaller. The other option would be to lock at the vise at this point, get the upset established, and then go back to the header. My next largest nail header, or next smallest nail header, I should say, is a lot smaller than I want. So we're going to use the vise to work on this upset. And at least get something that we can make a head out of.
Now you could probably go ahead and just head the whole nail in there if you wanted to, but I think we can go back to the nail header now. So let's see if this works any better. Much happier with that. And this is completely usable for what I have in mind as is. You'll notice that the the head is considerably off center and I'm kind of okay with that for what I want to do with it. So I'm going to come back over to the vise with the heading tool in place this time. And I've got an eyeball punch. My hook's going to be a little crooked here, or my nail. But that's okay. This is just sort of a, a whim of the moment kind of thing here. So we'll put a couple little eyeballs in there. I've got a little fuller I'm going to use for a mouth. This won't be a very human looking hook. Maybe it's a space alien. And a couple of center punches. I'm going to get a smaller center punch. And these represent nostrils. Yep. Definitely a uh, a quirky little face there. And I just want to straighten out the bent up nail portion here. Keep a good grip on the face. Try a different pair of tongs. Well, this may be one of the strangest hook-like things we've done so far, but it is perfectly serviceable to hang things on, just like any other hook, and it's got a little bit of quirkiness to it, and it's kind of fun, and it's kind of whimsical. You'll notice that the head is kind of offset to one side, and I did that intentionally so that when you hang something on there, it's got something to keep it from sliding off. A symmetrical head would work just as well, but because I knew I was doing a face, or a head, I decided to go ahead and put everything off to the side like that. And then of course it has kind of a whimsical little face here, a couple of eyes, some punch marks that represent nostrils and a mouth. Not the best job doing a face in the world, but it gets the idea across. And like I say, it's a little bit fun, a little bit whimsical, and I think people enjoy seeing something like this. Now if I were going to do a lot of these, in fact, if I did even one more of these, I would probably make some tools, at least a better mouth punch so I'd get a nicer mouth on there, and then do a little bit better job of centering the nostrils so that they look right. But in any case, it's a completely functional nail or a nail hook or whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to go put it in the post in the back of the little office space where I have other similar big nails or what people sometimes refer to as journey nails. And I did a video talking about journey nails earlier, and I'll link to that right up in here. 
But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down there. Ring the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to receive notices of when I post new videos. But then make time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.